Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Christina here, back with another video. So for today, I just wanted to show you guys my hair care routine and also the tools I use to brush my hair. I've had quite a few people ask for more hair care videos. So if you guys are interested in that, just keep watching. I like to use this brand. It's called Kim True, if you guys can see the small writing. I've done a lot of posts on my Instagram about them because their products are just really great and really clean. So this is the condition and this is the shampoo. These are new bottles, so I haven't used these just yet, but I've used their yellow shampoo conditioner right now, and I'm not finished with those yet, but I have these guys, and I really do love this. Their stuff is just so good, guys. So the way I like to use the shampoo is I just like to stimulate my scalp with it and just really get in there and wash it, but don't go in with your nails. Just use your, your fingertips just to massage the scalp. You don't necessarily need to coat your whole hair in shampoo because that's just a waste of shampoo what you really want to use shampoo for is to clean your scalp but also clean the rest of your hair right but just I'm saying you don't need to use excess product to coat your whole head into shampoo because then you'd waste all the shampoo and you don't have to because the foam and everything once you get it lathered it's all gonna drip down your hair anyway as for the conditioner I just like to coat my ends in them so since I have a lot of hair I'll take like two pumps of conditioner and use the conditioner about up to here and any excess that I have on my hands, even though it's very little, I'll just gather my hair together, put it in a ponytail on the back of my head, just so I can, you know, wash the rest of my body and let the conditioner set for a little bit. But number one thing you don't want to do that I made mistakes before, and my hair will fall out a lot for this reason, is don't get conditioner on your scalp. I'm not a cosmetologist, guys, but I've learned this from my hairdresser, and I don't know if I'm explaining it correctly. When I wet my hair initially with the shampoo, I use hot water or warm water to really open up my scalp to get in there and clean all the nasty dead skin cells and all of that kind of stuff and all the hairspray and whatever else you put in your hair. And then once I get to the conditioner part, I use cold water because I wanna close my follicle. It's just gonna help your hair out and not get dried out as much because I used to rinse and wash my hair with hot water. So now that you know how to wash your hair, so on those days that you wanna treat your hair, I usually soak my hair in olive oil, I know, or coconut oil just to really saturate everything and I try to avoid my scalp. Leave it in a ponytail for a couple hours, let it marinate. <laughs> and then wash it out. Or I like to use the hair mask from Kim True. I use about two of these because I have a lot of hair. I don't know how many inches my hair is, otherwise I'd tell you, but it goes pretty far down my back. If you do have something like this, I would use two if you have long hair. If you have shorter hair, I would just use one. It leaves my hair really luscious and nice. It smells really good as well, as well as the other shampoo and conditioner. But that's what I like to use when I wanna treat my hair. I honestly don't do it that often, which I probably should because it would probably help me with my frizz. And lastly, for the Kim Chu products, I use the hair oil. This is supposed to be a treatment, but every time I wash my hair, I use this. I wash my hair every other day, so if I wash it today, I don't wash it tomorrow, etc. You know how that works. I put this all over my ends and it just really helps out with my frizz. I haven't washed my hair in a couple days, so that's why it might look a little frizzy. Once it's air dried and I use that, it just it looks really nice compared to when I just let my hair air dry and I don't put any oil in it and lastly I just want to show how I brush my hair and also the brushes I like to use so for my main brush I use a tangle teaser I just want to show how I brush my hair so you don't want to brush your hair when it's wet you want to brush it when it's more on the drier side and you just want to brush the ends first and then the middle and then you just work your way up to the roots you don't want to start at the root and then work your way down because you're just gonna pull your hair out. So just start at the bottom, and then the middle, and then the top. And then once your hair is all detangled, then you can just go one straight motion down. My second brush isn't exactly a brush, it is a comb, but this is just what I like to have when I part my hair. I like to have a rat tail comb because when I wanna part my hair, it's so much easier. You can just use a regular comb, but I feel like it just really helps you out more if you have a rat tail comb. It doesn't have to be a metal one. I just happen to have this one, but you can just get off Amazon for like six or eight dollars, I remember. I like to just have this because especially if you like to do a bunch of hairstyles, it's just so much easier to put it through your hair and you have a straight line. Last but not least, I like to have a boar hair brush. And yes, I said boar hair because 
this is basically a smoothing brush. So when you want your hair really smooth, you use this guy. This guy is pretty expensive because I think I paid like $35 for this brush. I can tell you it's actually worth every penny because my hair has not been smoother. You just can't get that smooth, slick, hair with a regular brush or a comb it, it's just not gonna happen you'll just end up having those lines but with this guy it just really smooths out as you can see my hair is really slicked down if you don't have one i would recommend having one because it just helps you out there you go guys that is all for my video today i just wanted to share my hair care and my tools that i use to brush my hair just in case you were curious it never hurts to just you know share your knowledge i hope you enjoyed i hope you learned something. I love you guys. I'll see you guys next week.